Welcome back to video number two. We have a lot of royal family news, but like I said, 80 to 90 percent of it is bad news. Oy. All right, something's happening with the royal family. It's some karma. I'm not sure. You know how I feel. Let's jump in and cover it, shall we? Let's go. To start off with, do you guys remember that horrible woman, that Australian senator who verbally attacked King Charles at Parliament House? Do you remember that? You take our babies, our lands, our bones. You are not our king. Give us what you stole from us, blah, blah, blah. Well, anyway, on Monday, Australian senators voted to censure her. The motion was carried 46 votes to 12. It took place right before she arrived on a flight from Melbourne because she said she wanted to be in parliament but for the vote but the government senators decided they weren't going to wait for her so they said that uh, her outburst was meant to quote incite rage outrage and grievances and this is part of a trend we see internationally but we don't need it here in australia so anyway the woman gets there and they give her a copy of the censure she ripped it up right in front of them and said, if he comes back here, I'll do it again. If the colonizing king were to come to my country again, I'll do it again. You've got, they need to get rid of this woman. <sighs> next up. And our next story is we know that William and Catherine and the children sleep in Adelaide Cottage, which is very close to Windsor Castle, and two masked raiders broke into farm buildings on the Windsor Castle estate while that was going on. So the two intruders got into the estate over a six foot fence. This happened on October 13th and it's just now being reported. They were apparently looking for farm machinery and used a stolen vehicle to you know, crash through a security gate on the way out. This occurred at Shaw Farm, which is one of the working farms on the estate. And it's right after the removal of armed police officers at the gate that the intruders used. Very suspicious. It happened at 11.45 p.m. that Sunday. Now, if you look at this map, the cottage where the family lives is just five minutes away on this estate that surrounds Windsor Castle. And, um, you know, that's why you always see William showing up on his little scooter. If he wants to go, he just gets on his little electric scooter and shows up. So very interesting that we're just now hearing about this, you know, when this happened in October. I am sure that we'll hear more about this story. I'm sure they'll catch whoever it is. All right, let's move on. All right, this next story again, very sad. Queen Camilla's dog, Beth the one that she adopted from Battersea Dogs and Cats Home in 2011 had to be put down. That dog was actually featured on her coronation gown. Can you imagine? Oh, she was just a 12 week old puppy when she adopted her. She still has Bluebell from um, the rescue center that she got the year later. But um, yeah, really sad. And I feel, believe me, as somebody who just lost her pet of 18 years, I get it. All right, let's move on. All right, the next thing is Prince Andrew. They say this is hilarious. I don't think it's hilarious. His horse almost threw him. What's so funny about that? He could have been injured. Next up. Now let's move on to the good stuff. The Duchess of Edinburgh went to visit the Feel Good Inside and Out Project. I love her leather dress. <laughs> she looks so good. When she arrived, looking as gorgeous as she did, she immediately met some staff. She was greeted by a line of students that she chatted with. She had a cup of tea, and then she sat down and did things like cross-stitching, bracelet beading, and making jars of preserves. Now, the college, the Cranford Community College, is an inclusive academy, and their mission is to transform the community. This took place on November the 18th. For some reason, this leather dress that Sophie's wearing seems to really have caught everybody's attention. I, I mean, we've seen it before. It looks good on her every single time she wears it. Anyway, one of the other things that she did after she was done with the embroidery and the bracelet making and the jam making was she helped with some Indian cookery. Ooh, I bet that was pretty cool. 
Just as an FYI, I found this interesting. I actually went to the college website and it said that 74% of staff, 53% of parents, and 50% of students prefer online school cloud subject evenings. Isn't that interesting? Instead of face-to-face. -face. That's quite a, uh, a turnaround. 26% of staff, 50% of students prefer face-to-face. Now, when that was event was over, Sophie headed over as the global ambassador for the International Agency for the Prevention of Blindness. She went to visit the Fight for Sight Laboratory at University College in London. Sophie was actually able to put on a lab coat and enter the actual laboratory and help them do some testing and some research. We know that she's always been a big proponent of saving eyesight. So after that, Sophie went and changed outfits and attended a charity event Monday night in her role as patron of well-being of women. It was a special 60th anniversary event, which was hosted by PWC. And while she was there, she saw Sir Marcus Setchell. He is the one who um, delivered her children. A speech was then given by Dame Leslie Reagan, highlighting the charity's achievements throughout the years. Sophie got to demonstrate her cake cutting skill. I would love to have tried that cake. It was a cake in the shape of a 60. It was chocolate buttermilk sponge cake topped with macarons, gold leafing, blackberries, and figs. <laughs> looked good. So Sophie cut into the cake and then said, wow, I made that look easy. Of course, she then later on unveiled a plaque. And of course, a big thank you to Remy Lot Sauce for showing us everything Sophie was wearing during the entire day today. Now, I have a Finn and Toodles update for you because I put the toy down that one of you sent for me for the cats. And this is how Finn reacted. Sorry, Finn, that's not your toy. Yeah, I know, but that's not your toy. <laughs> oh, you ran the cat off. Finn, that's not nice. So there's definitely been a shift since Toodles uh, is without Tigger and the way Tigger and Toodles behave towards each other. But don't worry, I'm keeping an eye on it. We're gonna get it all straightened out. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Hit the like and the subscribe button and the bell for all notifications. Leave your comments, then go down into the description box where you'll find the links to my Twitter, my Getter, my Rumble, my email, my physical address, my Patreon, which is currently paused. For those of you who've donated to my coffee fund, thank you so much. And as always, you guys, have a great day. Oh,